Silence through the night. What a thrill! I'm searching and I'll melt into you. What a fear in my heart, but you're so supreme. Tree frog, it's so dear the trial to survive for the day. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live with some more Metal Gear Solid 3. It is that time once again for us to do what we do best. To eat snakes with the best of them. Alright, let's catch up with everyone on the Kodak first. I'm going to say we're finally in Grozny Grad. Good. Finally made it inside Groznygrad. Finally. Stay alert. This is the enemy's main base. Security here is on a scale you haven't encountered yet. No kidding. Your objective is the weapons lab. It's the giant building in the center of the fortress. Sokolov is in the west wing of that building. To get into the area where Sokolov is imprisoned, you'll need to find Major Rykov. Steal his clothes and disguise yourself as him. Rykov is supposed to be in the east wing of the weapons lab. Start out by sneaking into the east wing of the weapons lab, then neutralize Rykov and take his clothes. The weapons lab is to the northeast of the area you're in now. Head northeast. To get into the area where Sokolov is imprisoned, you'll need to find Major Rykov. 
Steal his clothes and disguise yourself as him. Rykov is supposed. No, oh, we already heard that. Looks like you're. Sigin has no words. Treating Sir. Nothing from paramedic. What about Eva? Eva. Snake. You're all right. Were you worried about me? Yeah, I can't continue my mission without your help. I'm touched by your honesty. Don't concern yourself with me. I'm doing just fine. But... What? Thanks anyway. Sure. Okay, back to the mission. The security in the West Wing where Sokolov is being held is extremely tight. The only ones who are cleared to enter the West Wing are those with Colonel Class authorization. One of those people is Major Rykov. To get into the West Wing, you could disguise yourself as Rykov. First, you have to take Rykov out and steal his uniform. He's in the East Wing of the Weapons Lab in the center of Groznygrad. The East Wing is northeast of your current location. Head northeast. All right, but why? Huh? Why do I have to steal Rykov's clothes from him? What about that scientist outfit? That's not going to work this time around. Rykov's uniform is a special type that only he wears. You'll have to get it directly from him. Normally, I'm pretty good at getting men to take off their clothes, but it won't work on him. Huh. You, on the other hand, might have a better chance with him. What's that supposed to mean? What indeed? Anyway, the only way to get Rykov's uniform is to take him out and steal it yourself. He's somewhere in the East Wing. Eva, about this Major Rykov. Yes? You said he had Colonel Class authorization, right? Right. But his rank is Major, so how can he have Colonel Class authorization? Rykov is treated as an officer of equal rank with Colonel Volgin. Treated as the same rank? Yeah. Even though he's a Major? Right. Why? You don't know? No. Even after seeing that photo? Nope. Has anyone ever told you you're a bit slow? What are you talking about? I'll leave you to think about it. Wait a minute. Gotta go. The okay, so from my understanding, uh, either Rykov, what is it? Volgin takes uh, fat dick from Rykov, or Rykov is secretly a woman. I mean, we never did figure out who Jack's parents were. I mean, Raiden's parents were, so technically... Boss, why are you betraying me, and why are all the micro-bombs? Micro-bombs? Yeah, I was gonna say, why do you keep referencing micro-bombs? Oh, oh, yeah, because the entire, uh, the Cobra unit's covered in fucking micro-bombs. I mean, they, they'll recover eventually. Eventually, we hope. Okay, I'm assuming we're not going to need the full blast power of that gun. There are other options. The TNT is also going off the menu. Instead, we'll roll with the shotgun, the handgun, and... Yeah, I guess that'll do it. No, he didn't even come over to investigate. The absolute buffoon. Also, how are we doing tonight, Mordred? Shit. I'm definitely going to get spotted. So fast and late as ever. Well, this time I have a very good reason. You see, this time around, I was up to some good old fashioned home cooking, baby. There we go. Wakey, wakey, I need to interrogate you, dumb fuck. There we go. Now give me all the information. Answer me. This area is huge. 
Speak. Let go of me. Wow, he does not give very good advice at all, does he? There you go. Make sure he's nice and quiet now. But yeah, earlier I was, uh... I have, like, a bunch of imitation crab, and I was trying to make it taste less like shit. So I found a recipe for... Imitation crab. I stick it in the air fryer after oiling it up and then salting it and seasoning it. And uh, it went pretty well. It was a little rough, but between the salt, the pepper, the cumin, and I don't think I added anything else. Fucking mixing that shit up. It was it was it was pretty it was pretty fly. It's pretty radical, as they say. I dare even say that it was super excellent. Inject your microbombs. I I don't I really don't get the reference, I'm sorry. Is it because the guy from earlier uh randomly kept shooting uh fire? So he was trying to be lit? Is that is that it? I haven't had fake crab in a while. It's... it was okay. I think it ended up... it turned out surprisingly well, all things considered. If I had to say, I'd say it ended up delicious. Okay, it wasn't delicious. I need to both fry less of it at a time. Because it turns out that when you fry it, you're not supposed to fry all of it at once. Crab, yes, imitation crab. I was trying to make fine cuisine. It went about as well as one might expect. Tastes like cap. Is that why, uh, what was it? I was talking about it with Uncle Dongus, and he was telling me about how much he fucking hated fake crab. He's like, he can't stand the smell, he can't stand the taste. He, he is really not a fan. To the point that he vehemently made sure to tell me how much of a fan he was not. I'm sorry, I'm not your average, Joe. Answer me. The armory. Northwest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Speak. Bastard. That'll do. We even got some more bad boys. Now to dispose of the body. Bad boys, what you gonna do? Ah. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boys? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Stop overload. Well, fucking, it just... It looks like it could carry so much more than it could actually carry. It's its very deceitful. That air fryer. Well, I mean, we haven't been spotted yet. I told you this was gonna be different from the, uh, the other... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, God, we're about to be spotted. Shit. 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 Okay, there. We're good. You didn't see anything. That's why they call me the best, baby. Is that really... I really can't climb up that? Okay. So Mason moves in on his quarry. Nice and close. A little closer. A little closer. A little closer. God, is this? <laughs> Consider yourself bamboozled, bitch. In the back of the armored car. <laughs> Answer me. Bastard. Yeah, you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Okay, that guy's gonna see something he shouldn't if we don't move. Come on, mush! 
<laughs> Thanks, George. Kind of slow. Why does everyone just keep referencing shit I don't understand? Aside from maybe George. Fucking okay, so we managed to get rid of dipshit here. Also, how was everyone's day today? Was it as wonderful as mine? What are you not understanding? Who's George? What's a can of sled cop? Why do we keep talking about micro bombs? guy over there that's our next target that was a typo of cancel oh I thought I, I was just there were just so many things that I didn't understand I needed clear clarification and George F hero of the common man ah yes how could I forget Uh, this camo is actually surprisingly good for indoors. Can you imagine? I almost didn't have this. I never found that burn camo. Keep fucking expl- Well, I mean, I didn't really- I wasn't paying that much attention to the giant, you know, doodads. And that was when you fucked up. Never should have come here. I can smell you from here. You lousy. I just assume everyone had giant C4 strapped to their back. Or their balls. One or the other. And now watch me do this even faster. Go, Snake, go! Whoa, <laughs> he's fast. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there! Almost there! Almost there! Almost there! Almost there! There we go. I think the fire cam- Ah, I should have looked around more in the middle of the boss fight, fuck. Should have been paying more attention. Like, I knew there was loot around. It just didn't occur to me that there'd be, like, anything key. And I can't go back and take a look, can I? I want some more. Always make sure to feed your snake. Yeah, next run I'll have to take a closer look. I'm gonna say, the good thing is during the next run, too... Okay, well, it's not good, but I'm gonna try tranking all the bosses, too. Because this time around was just to, like, kill everything and figure shit out and try to loot stuff as we go. I was trying to be super thorough and learn, like, strats. Fucking, uh... I'm gonna trank them all, and then afterwards we'll just go back to murdering the shit out of all the bosses on extreme. Was that all the guards? Huh. I, I guess it's it was just that easy, baby. But yeah, uh, basically what I did with the imitation crab was I took the air fryer and I air fried the imitation crab after spicing it and oiling it and then dumping like two and a half pounds of it in the air fryer. And after that, it just kind of was pottery. Also, they said northwest was the armory. We're going to go blow that up. Well, yeah, but it, in order for the uh, crab to get, like, extra crispy, which it didn't this time because I put too much in, so it didn't fry right. So this time around, now we know. Fuck. Huh? 
It was worth it to me. We're just gonna hide underneath this car in the meantime while they all do the do. Uh, small amount of oils. Oh, most of the shit that I do when I put stuff in the air fryer is just kind of stick it in as is. Because I don't know where to insert the oil in the air fryer. Because there's no, there's nothing to put it in. He did fry so good. Ba basically. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, Mason, why are you just hiding? What do you mean, what's wrong? There's... Why'd it reset? Mm. Okay, because most of the stuff, I just kind of hit it with the wacky tobacco. I also think I may have shot the guard in the head. They didn't even hit up the radio this time around. What do you think? You want to... Is that what I think it is? That looks like a dog. Oh my god. I think that's actually a dog. As long as they don't investigate the dog too closely. I can't believe it. That guy fell asleep on the job. What a fucking buffoon. What an absolute idiot. Chinga banga wonga, he's so happy in the jungle he refused to go. Luckily, they won't notice a thing. Both me and this guy are camouflaged. Which means they won't notice me slapping the absolute shit out of this man. As I then squeeze his nuts for information. Alright. Time to chew ass and kick bubblegum. And I'm all out of ass. As I say, that's a direct quote from my boy. Ass lick him. Speak. I left my stuff on top of the armored car. Speak. Bastard. Should have said that. I left my stuff on top of the armored car. Okay, I can handle that. Question is, which armored car? There's several. Most of these aren't actually even armored cars. They're tanks. How am I supposed to do anything with that info? Maybe he meant under the armored car. But I'm glad that everyone had a brilliant day today. It always puts a smile on my face to know that you're all happy and healthy. Oh, hey, a dilly dinger. Always take supplies when you can, boys. You never know when you're gonna need them. Awful, thanks for asking. It's so consistent. I think I would... If I didn't know any better, I'd say you've planned out it out. Oh, I also had a uh, strange event occur. Uh, that job that told me they weren't interested in uh, interviewing randomly changed their mind, and now they want to interview. That's right, boys and girls, your boy is getting popular. I wonder what that alarm is for. I have an interview at 2 p.m. on Friday. 
Who's ready to be the employee of the month? That's right. Me. Time to take my rightful place. Can I, can I not go up there? Damn. Is that dog just sleeping because? Mm. I gotta get that man's attention. Or implicating... <laughs> Why does everyone assume that I'm super racist or anti-Semitic? I have at no point ever done any of those things. Come on, come to Daddy Mason. What's that? What's that horrible slapping sound? God damn it, just fucking... Oh yeah, now he wants to take a look. You fucking wanker. But it turns out I'm right here this whole time! That never happened. Those are lies made by my political opponents. Radio 142.09. Hmm, that's an interesting one. 142.09. Thanks. I hate it. Okie then. That happened. To get into the area where Sokolov is imprisoned, you'll need to find... Okay, that's the guy with the nudies. The sec they sick the tag dogs on you? Attack dogs move fast and are deadly in proximity encounters. They'll pick up your scent and use it to track you, so it'll be hard to shake them off. In a way, they're more dangerous than any human opponent. Be prepared. Covering your body is a good start, but a bare face will kill even the best camouflage. If the situation calls for a high camo index, you better break out. I always have face paint on. Answer me. Let go of me. Yeah, these guys don't really give me all that much information now, do they? Before I got to do God's work. Oh shit. <laughs> that is the opposite of stealth. I didn't realize that guy had such a wide spread. Huh? What was that noise? What was that mysterious ticking noise? Huh? What's wrong? <laughs> Speak. Sokolov, the West Wing. We, we already knew that. Speak. Dogs are afraid of fire. Really? Speak. Let me go. You ain't gotta ask me twice. I wonder if I get anything good for killing all these guards. Let's see, because we've single-handedly killed most of, uh, Vulgan's men. I think that'll count for our good deed for the day, you think? Oh, look at the sleepy pooper. What, you never tried setting a dog on foot? No, I can't say. I can't say that I have. It's not on my list of uh, things that I enjoy doing.
Well, time to go do what I do best, boys. That's right, it's time to go to jail. Can you believe it? Damn, you had a sad child. <laughs> Yes, I, I'm sure the fact that I didn't light dogs on fire was very depressing for everyone involved. There we go. It's like I wasn't even here. Except for the giant fuck huge explosion. That may have... That may have... That may backfire at some point. What about you? Can I go through you? I'll give you a hint. Did you know that TNT... Is a dynamite a truck? It was my destiny to be here in this truck. Snake, that's an MAZ 535, a Soviet built eight axle tractor truck. During World War II, most of the heavy transport trucks the Soviets used were supplied by the US. But apparently, their performance wasn't quite up to the standards of the Soviet military. The problem only got worse after the war as the size of the Soviet strategical rocket forces grew larger. The Soviets realized they needed a heavy transport truck with excellent cross-country capability to haul their ballistic missiles. So in 1954, they started work on a new truck design over at the SKB MAZ Design Bureau in Minsk, Belarus. And what they came up with was the MAZ 535 you see there. There are a lot of variations on the MAZ 535. What do the headlights look like on that one? It's got two of them. Then it must be one of the later production models. The early ones were equipped with infrared lamps. They look like they're used for cargo transport. But you're not into auto theft, are you? Just leave it alone and keep going. Snake, that's an M.A. To get... Uh... I have a sneaking suspicion of an idea that I could use with this. Oh, hey, I could go check this area out. This area is fully explorable. Ooh, we finding ourselves some loot tonight, boys. I was just thinking it's about time y'all had some goddamn faith. There's nothing here. There's not a single... Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. But I I could have sworn it I I really did think that I could go inside this. Is this is this not in the cards? To get What about you, Sigin? How do I open this? Keep in mind. Damn it. You're playing with the man. I thought that was a way inside the base. That would have been cool. That was not a stupid idea. That was a good one. And the way it's marked out on the map is mighty suspicious. Right, boys? You love a nice man, Hulda. Yes, yes, haha, ha, very funny. But yeah, I'm thinking the next time I need to add A, less stuff into the air fryer, and B, I need to make sure that uh, I spice it up a bit more. I, I don't really add salt to my cooking, but I think I realized why I've been having some weird health issues lately. And I've, I've finally identified it. It's... I think I'm not getting enough salt in my diet. And I want you to hear me out because I think the way I found out was interesting. So the last like two or three days when I went to go take a piss, I would piss for like an extremely long time. Like this was, this was a very long piss. Like I'm talking a solid like 60 seconds of just straight like urination. So I was like, damn, why do I keep pissing so much? This is not my normal amount of pissing. So I got it in my head that maybe the reason I was pissing so much was because I wasn't consuming enough salt. And it turns out that that may have been the answer. So I'm making sure to start salting my food again so that way when I piss, 
it doesn't go. I can actually retain water because I think my body isn't retaining enough water. I've done it. I've cracked the code. But yeah, salt is usually bad for you, but that's because we have so much of it. If you cut salt out of your diet, it is possible for that to be bad. Because then you're going to piss a lot. Like, I'm talking very extensive quantities of, of piss. Like, anytime you have water, you're, you're, you're making, like, roughly like a one-to-one -one equivalent of, like, just straight piss. I just, I just thought you guys should know. Like, prepare yourselves. Salt isn't necessarily bad. You just... You gotta prepare for it. Like, health-wise. It's a mineral, too, you know. I gotta get this asshole's attention. No, stop going that way, you dumb fuck. Oh, come on, G. I'm, I, what? I'm actually onto something here, okay? Like, you should not be pissing for a solid 60 straight seconds. Unless you're, like, forcing it. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is a sneaky way in. Ooh. Oh, this leads to an area I haven't been in before. <laughs> what? It makes sense to me, okay? That's all it needs to do. Huh? The enemy's here. No, he's not. I just Okay, there. I was able to get him to go away. That is a lot of guards, and they are all very close together. Okay, I was just trying to kind of get his attention, but uh, I kind of fucked that up. Oh god, yeah, that is a loud ass alarm. Oh, I fucked up. I made a mistake. I made a terrible mistake. Damn it, I know it's me. Okay, how about this? Do you know it's me if I do this? There. Also, them going ham on the ammo isn't a good thing. There we go. Now they'll have no idea it was me in this box. Huh? Fuck. Okay, so. That area is going to be a bit complicated to go inside of, for obvious reasons. Lead's one of my favorite seasonings. I always make sure I get my daily supply of lead. I 
Okay, I made sure to kill all of the backups, so now we just gotta deal with the, uh, the extras. Yeah, did you know if you don't get your daily supply of lead, you're, uh, gonna be unhealthy? That's why I only have a certain brand of, uh, paint chips. Okay, dipshit's down. <laughs> he falls out of the truck. Sorry, fat boy. Okay, we want to get rid of that. Make sure we still have... Yeah, we have quite a few suppressors. Shit. Okay, it's just him. Wow, he is you are one dense son of a bitch. What you all? What is that pathfinding? Who's that? Radio, call HQ. Fucking Die God damn it, fall. Fucking hate this game. I tried. You all saw it. It's okay, like I wasn't even there. You can't tell? Where is he? God, I wish I knew. If only we could figure it out. This is HQ. Sounds kind of like Miller. I heard him. He sounded closer than I thought, but I guess not. The great stealth. That's why they call me. The That's why I'm the best, boss. Over here. God damn it. How loud do I have to be for these fucking idiots to hear me? Fucking mother. Speak. The north entrance. It connects to the weapons lab east wing. Okay. Speak. Wait, how did they know I was here? <laughs> he was the only one there. That was the only guy who saw me. How the fuck did everyone else see me? There's an e you know, there's an easy way to solve this. Jesus Christ, just fucking hard reset it.
You're coming with me. Uh, speak. Uh, speak. The provision storehouse. Northeast. There's another storehouse? Uh, I already me. blew up the armory. You la uh, 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 How much more uh, destructive could I possibly be? Aw, oh, man, I really do miss the neck crack. That's one of my favorite parts. He's not the same. You don't keep your food in the eye. Well, I know. I already blew up the armory. There was no fucking storehouse over there. Mm, gotta grab him. Oh, wait, the uh, armory was to the northwest. He said the provision storehouse was to the northeast. I heard footsteps. I got paranoid for a sec before I remembered they're my own. That's how you get ants. Well, I mean, if ants are crawling all over my gun, that's, that's fine. Think about it. Lead-flavored uh, ramen noodles. Even better, they cook faster than ever. Wow, I'm learning as we go, okay? I'm learning a lot of information. This is why you're the best, boss. You're gonna extract him? I'm not just... Are you, though? I'm learning stuff. Look, we, we got two of them already. This is flawless stuff. Like, I wasn't even here. Is the knowledge being retained? We're going to find out on hard. That's where the real fun's going to begin. Are you learning the correct thing? I sincerely hope so. Otherwise, this is going to be a very long day. Get nice and close. And then I grab his cock. Uh, speak. To the weapons lab main wing. There's a truck carrying goods. Mm. Uh, speak. The north entrance. It connects to the weapons lab east wing. Uh, speak. You la uh, uh, See, look at all this information I'm learning. Like I was never even here. Speak to the northeast. Answer me in the provision storehouse. That's the provision storehouse right there. There's some rations. Speak. Bastard. Oh shit, there's another guard. It's okay, as long as I stow this guy properly. There we go. They'll never spot the corpse. Says to the weapons lab east wing. Blend in like it's nobody's business. I'm blended in like I'm the cat's pajamas. Huh, what's this box doing here? Move safely. Uh, speak. 
you lousy. Yeah, I, I really, d by the way, I really don't like the sound of uh, Ocelot's voice in this. Fucking, because it's in, like, perfect English, and all I hear in perfect English is, you American dog. Perfect English. What the? A box here? Oh god, he's falling for it. The absolute buffoon. The absolute idiot. He's going for it. He's gonna touch the box. A box? What's this doing here? You better not touch that. I wouldn't do that if I were you. This guy's gonna try and hot glue the box, isn't he? Oh god. There's enough room in here for both of us. Shouldn't have done that. One four one five three. One four one five three. One four one five three. I gotta write that. One four one five three. There we go. Box into your stroom after drinking a whole 12 rack of twisted tea, pisses on floor, dies. Beautiful. When your mom tells you you can pick up one thing at the store, it's you with a rack of twisted tea. Speak. Let go of me. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, I don't know what we're doing, but uh, I'm definitely down to get hammered this weekend. Especially now that we're, uh, I mean, we could five-man Vogue, but I still have wine. And I have a low enough alcohol tolerance for shenanigans. And depending on how the interview goes, it'll be a celebration or me drowning my sorrows. Let's find out together. It says there's something here. I see what it's looking at. I think there's a way inside from under here. As I see in theory where it would want me to get under, I need to find a manhole though. Because this is actually a path. Issue is, how do we get access? But how was work today, Tram? Oh, yeah, tomorrow you're off. Yeah, I, I want to figure out as much as I can about this place, because when I go through this area on extreme, I cannot afford to fuck up. And if there's a vent, then that means sneaking around like a slippery snake is going to be even better. It's like, I see in theory where the game would, like, want me to go... Oh, I see. If I go through here... There's that building there. I haven't fully checked out that area just yet. Probably move that fried crab so my feet aren't right over it. I don't want it to taste like my foot. And we already blew up the uh, provision storehouse. That's not a storehouse. I do see a provision storehouse to the northeast. Gonna be a little rough riding though to get in there. So we can either A, check out here, or B, go this way. Let's go take a look over here first. Well, we found the storehouse after a long, hard search. Ooh, and there's a calorie mate in here. What a thrill! There we go. Now the food's going to taste even better. Okay, so we've managed to blow everything to Kingdom Come, and I see what is, in theory, a sneaky snack way to go through here. This must be the vent that idiot was talking about. Hey there, seahorse. My washer broke. That's great. Not really, but, you know. 
A 12 rack of twisted tea. Wait, what's the alcohol content on a twisted tea? Okay, so I can see that area getting into the east wing. Give me a sec while the call zero. To get into the area where Sokolov is imprisoned, you'll need... Okay, Rykov's in the east wing of the weapons lab. Take his clothes. And I assume that big building is not on the menu. So we're going to try sneaking in through the vent then. I have no clean clothes for work. Who says you need to wear clothes at work? Being clothed is for the weak. I'm sorry, seahorse. Your your best bet, honestly, is fill up a uh, sink with uh, dish soap. Smash your clothes in it for a while and then throw it in the dryer. Right, Cobb, more like hot sex with cousins. I still think it's funny as shit now that we know that, uh... What is it? Volgan takes fat dick from Rykov, and that does not cease to amuse me. Either that or Rykov's a woman and is, like, secretly, like, fucking Raiden's mother. Okay, we haven't really been in this section here. And all the guards are starving and out of ammo. I'm assuming this will be the way out. Okay, we can either go out this way, or let's see if there's another path through here. No, there's no way through here. I'm glad to see the soldiers are as hungry as I am. Kind of hard to focus when you have diarrhea. Okay, so I also still have those rotten anacondas that I could use to give everybody the shits. I found another box! God, this is getting better and better. Also, we don't need the directional mic anymore. We also want the rotten anaconda. My dad bought the part we need because he thought he might... Everything else is working fine. Is he still working on it or are you guys basically fucked? Okay. I don't need to feed any of these assholes here just yet, but I do kind of need to uh, introduce this guy to my foot. Washing machine, not dishwasher. Oh, dear. Oh, this guy had rations this whole time. Well, at least that gives me an excuse to... Uh, Eat some of them instant new. Well, I, okay, I have a lot of calorie mates. I think I'm gonna eat one of these bad boys. Mm, delicious. Now I have a stinky ration. Oh, you could use the uh, dishwasher to clean your clothes. Easy. Problem solved. <laughs> that knocked him out. Oh, because they're hungry, they're not fed. Which means they're weak. Speak. 
There are guys who know alert cancellation frequencies. Who speak? Bastard. Your dishwasher and why is everything broken? Broke because before cut Jesus. When it rains it pours. Shit, he's got backup. Oh wait, I have an idea. What if I do this? I'm a box. Maybe you should take a look at me. The letters on the side cannot be read. I really just cannot fucking get this guy's attention, can I? Problem is, he has too many dudes surrounding him, so I can't get the jump on him. I'm gonna have to pull off this guy around the right. You know you want it. You know you want the box. There could be food in the box. If you're really hungry. If you're really hungry, you could turn into a snake eater. Come on. Come to Papa Mason. You fucked it. You, you fucked it. You just shouldn't have touched it. Speak. I'm not talking. Speak. Let go of me! Speak! I'm not talking! Oh, it looks like he needs some encouragement. Oh wait, I don't want to lose my box! There we go, got my box just in time. Jesus, when it rains it pours. Yeah, that that's what happened with the new computer we're using right now, actually, Seahorse. I had to fucking... spend like, fucking $900 I didn't have. I mean, it's a nice piece of equipment, but I really didn't want to buy it. You're so hungry. You're hungry? What if I fed you a knuckle sandwich, boyo? And my dick! Wow, these guys are really easily knocked out now. God, this is just sad. They they pass out so easily. I didn't realize no provisions would be this bad. I also feel like I'm backtracking a lot less in uh, MGS3 so far than I did in the other Metal Gear games. It's actually kind of nice. Answer me. If you travel along the ditch. Answer me. Let me go. Yeah, he just kind of passes out a little fast. Oh, congratulations. I'm glad to hear at least something good's happening. I, 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 I hate to be the one to be like, ah, oh, yes, shared misfortune. That fucking fills me with joy, but... Because uh, I feel too, like too much of a shitter if that's the case. Oh my god, this guy died! How could this have happened? Through no fault of my own. Oh, they, they're turning into a little... Jesus. It's like a little coffin. There we go, like I wasn't even here.
Also, the sonar is officially my... I, I've finally figured out how to, like, properly use the sonar and all that shit, and that really is helping. I think I saw something. No, you didn't. You didn't see anything. I'm just a box. Oh, God. He's gonna go take a look at the box. I, okay, I've now figured out how to resort to old tricks. We're, we're back to the old days. MGS 1 and 2 strat, here we go. Who's there? Is there a guy in there? I don't think so, that's a pretty big box. What are you gonna do, open it? I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You fucked it. Every fucking time. Answer Just me. have to not touch it. Finish me. Oh, we'll speak. Mm. Bastard. Ha! Is he saying finish me because he's hungry or because he's horny? Must have shorter hair for work. Huh? Yeah, short hair is really nice. Or at least fucking like, what is it? Short hair has its upsides. I like the aesthetic of short hair. I wouldn't use it myself, though. Obviously. Say, so, yeah, I look, uh, trying to go for the whole Fabio look, which doesn't really work when you're, uh, as out of shape as I am, but slowly we're catching up. Right now, I even have, dare I say it, muscles. And what can I say? I know the ladies lack muscles. It's like 80, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that sound that doesn't sound very humane. That sounds like shit. I wonder if I could get in from the roof. Climb the ladder, snake. Jesus. Are you telling me there's no way in from the roof? Everyone is dead. Who else is here? Yeah, I guess there really is no way inside. Ain't no time like the present, boys. That's right. It's time for the return of everyone's favorite tool. That's right. It's time for the box. Me trying to sweat into people that... Well, think of it... I, I don't know. Some people are into that. Like cream of the crop, yeah? Okay. It is now happy poopy time. To get into the area where Sokolov is imprisoned, you'll need to The Mark 22 can Uh yes, everything I have is suppressed. Treating The security in the I say so it's okay if the employees suffer as long as the customers are catered to lovely it's one of those kinds of places oh I know what I could do to make this easier on myself he heard it so now we got to draw it out of him someone's gonna go pick that shit up come on go grab it what is that Snackies! That's right, fat boy. Eat up. Go for it. That's right. Mm -mm -mm. Munchy, crunchy snackies. You fucking idiot. And now he has the diarrhea. Hello. What is this? I guess I found a snacky of my own.
And to say honestly, if you weren't in such a tight spot, I'd tell him to get fucked. Dear God, I know what I must do. Okay, so my plan of I have to feed everyone diarrhea food is still a go. Just have to go about it in like a way that doesn't suck. So diarrhea food is the name of the game. Diarrhea food is the name of the uh is the skill I have. Damn it. Shit. <laughs> he still went for the munchies, the absolute buffoon! You fucking idiot! <laughs> you absolute blithering tart! Tit! Tat! Get it over here! God, what an absolute fucking buffoon! Who would have guessed that the cure is diarrhea all along? Who's that? Who speak? Who speak? Shit, I don't have a choice. Okay, that one could have gotten a lot worse. Speak. The provision storehouse, northeast. We already blew it up. That's why you're hungry. Speak. Using the docks. You can move safely. Uh, speak. You lousy. Uh, uh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that fucking... Yeah, that place kind of sounds like it blows. Okay, so there is another guard in here. I think. Okay, if he's around, he's not in a place that I see. What the hell is this supposed to be? Oh god. Is this the torture chamber? To get in the sec Not a word from anyone, huh? The chuck Snake be I was say, that's how most business owners run it. They run it until it becomes a problem, and then they'll complain that, Oh, God, I can't believe this is happening. Ooh, and I could take pictures now. Which means it's time for us to do our civic duty. Let's see, we'll get rid of the binoculars and instead equip the most important item a man could carry. I consider it a victory. To get this. I do kind of miss how, like, meme-worthy MGS2 is. I really do. 
Like, there are a couple good jokes in this, but it is not nearly on the same level of how much Raiden got fucking shat on. That was just kosher. It doesn't stick down there, so don't get molded bugs. Doesn't want to start from the bottom again. I was going to say, in her shoes, she's going to have a hard time making a move. I'm going to say, at that point, though, you'd probably just start going through your job like you don't give a fuck about it. Which is normally what I would also do. Oh, so this area was simply a detention center. This area wasn't important at all. Uh, there's a torture area. Jail cells. Ugh. And a medical area. Well, we killed all the guards, at least. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I'm trying to get these Surth Seahorse. That way I'm not stuck in that, uh, position. I know he's on the other side of this, but I suppose this doesn't matter. So we're gonna go back to the previous area, and I think it's finally time to breach. They said the west wing is where Rykov is located, so we want to go in through the west. We're taking out most, if not all, the guards for most of these sections. So it's time to get our shiggy diggy on. Can can I really not just like hop over? It's it's right there. Just fucking. Oh, I'm retarded. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, Grosny Grad's been interesting so far. We managed to successfully deal with most of these areas with extreme prejudice. However, now it's time to go for all the marbles. Didn't I just fucking kill everyone here? Jeez. The guard oh, yeah, and the guards are dying sooner because they're weak from hunger. Which means it's easier if I fuck up my shots to still to still take them out. Coming in with the boys I means now's our time to go in. Showtime. Okay, we're in the east wing. Shit, they have overlapping fields of view here, too. They're very easy to uh, hear us. A box? Can you believe it? A whole piece of cardboard? Yeah, this area isn't going to be easy to get through. 
Uh, I can safely get rid- you know what, fuck the motion detect- The motion detector I've only really used under specific circumstances. There we go, like I was never even here. Okay, I still have quite a bit of, uh, camo here. Do I have any other camouflage that would suck less? Okay, every camo that I have would literally be worse. So I still get 60% on my camo, but it's not ideal, that's for sure. Fuck, he's coming! Oh god, he was right there this whole time. Okay, so I found a nice little hidey hole here. This is probably what we're, we're going to be using in order to sneak around. And a cardboard box! They don't make it easy to get a move on, do they? There's nothing here. Fuck. Shit. Oh wait, I have an idea. What if, if I get this guy's attention just right, he doesn't have any covering fields of fire, so if he walks right into this box... He's going to be like, what the hell is that? Or he's just going to turn around and then leave. I could hear them above me. Who's that? And then I grab him by the cock. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Yeah, my issue is I moved a bit prematurely there. I thought he was grabbing the box. Yeah, this game has very weird definitions of what is 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 not like breaking stealth. You should probably go take a look. It could be a box. It could be anything, but I swear if it's a box, then you and me are gonna have a problem. By God. What's wrong? Huh? Oh shit. There's a lot of guys here. Oh fuck, there's a lot of guys here. Please turn around and leave. Please turn around and leave. Oh shit. Who's that? This is about to go south. Yeah, this area is not very easy to sneak through. I mean, I could just start tranking all these assholes. Well, I guess I guess we're doing this the stupid way. I mean, I'm okay with it, but it's not what I envisioned. I'm a master of stealth. God, I feel like such a tit. I hate the the game doesn't really have any way of like sound control on multiple floors, and it always kind of fucks with me. 
Because I'm not sure what qualifies as like actual stealth or I'm in the open. Yeah, they're all on the floor above me, but if I make noise, they will hear it. Okay, well, let's uh, wake up our first idiot. And we can hear them running around. What do you got for me? Answer me. The door will open with frequency 145.86. That's new. I haven't heard that one before. Speak. Let me go. Sure. All over it, champ. They call me hero. They do. Funny thing is they're like literally in the fucking adjacent room and they will hear me through the wall. Speak. Request to call off alert 144.61.61. Well, that would come in handy. Answer me. Bastard. Ha! And we got a code to open up a door or something? Is that the door they were talking about that uh, keeps me from Sokolov? And I have to run around as Rykov or some shit? I mean, I'm sure there's a reason. Wake up, fucker. God, that was such a stilted way to say that. I'm sorry. Speak. Radio 141.85. 141.85 Okay, that's fair. I'm also going to write down these frequencies. I don't do they if they don't reset then no, no, I don't I don't care. Well, you never know. 148 148.365 148.96 143.32 142.09 141.85 Okay, we got one last guard we gotta give the uh, old Razzle Dazzle to. Is he? Oh shit, he's coming this way. If you insist, suit yourself. Just remember, they could get out of this easily if they just talk. It's that easy sometimes. Let's try out that frequency. It's 14586. Okay, I guess not. Is he sure it's 145.86? 
Maybe this is a different door, I guess. What a waste. Ooh, it's the bathroom. Isn't this the mystery? Why are all the doors sliding doors? God, they can all hear me from the other floor, too, and I think that's the frustrating part. And then there's the blood bathroom. <laughs> okay, let's go up to the uh, right-hand side over here. Or, well, technically left-hand side. Okay, up we go. Oh, I forgot about these doors. Yeah, there's a whole nother separate subset of doors here that just don't really have much of a use. Though I'm assuming there's gotta be a way inside. Oh, look at all those provisions! But how? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'm looking at the wrong door. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Got it! Yeah, I was in front of the wrong door. Hey there, wolf! Ladies and gentlemen, we managed to get into the secret room, baby. And a fucking submachine gun. Hello, gorgeous. I'm gonna say, it looks like it was worth it to get up to our uh, regularly scheduled programming. I would test it out, but I don't think this is the place. No one you need to know. I wasn't expecting everyone to just be in this weird office section. Is that Rykov screaming for help? God, I love how bogus it is. Okay, so there is a way into the main wing, but we gotta deal with Rykov first. Shit. Not what I had in mind. But I did kind of already put everyone to sleep. And we did have an alert off frequency. It was 144.61. Oh, wait, no. 141.52. I'm, I'm an idiot. Why do none of these codes ever fucking work? Oh god, one of the scientists died somehow. That was not me.
Okay, suit yourself. Oh, let me guess. The ones with the ARs are the, uh, backups. So we gotta get rid of them the old-fashioned way. Death from stray gunfire. Yeah, he got fucking annihilated. God, I have not been able to interrogate a single scientist. Every time I've tried, they get fucking murdered by enemy friendly fire. Literally through no fault of my own. I am never responsible for their deaths. Speak. The door will open. Okay, he's just telling me info I already have. Yeah, and that, uh, guard, that, uh, dude that I tranked is fucking Dunzo. Oh. Thought he was coming up the stairs. I guess I was wrong. I do have another guard here. I'll just drag you off into the sunset. Like, I'm trying to get rid of the guards, or at least drag them away, but every time the guards either A, see me, or they're just in a really inconvenient spot. Like, that one guy I tried interrogating, and then he just went to the alarm, despite me, like, bumping into him because of the awkwardness of the CQC. Made it really fucking weird to try and interrogate the guy. Answer me. The door will open with frequency 148.13. Okay, that's a different door. I have no idea what you're talking about. I take zero responsibility. Yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit more subtlety is required here. Oh, this door. 14813. Damn it. Well, I guess there goes that idea. What? Why do, why do you always sound like a sniveling brat? Stop! Stop running! Fuck's sake. There, we found the scientists. There's a fucking library here. Well, we figured out where all the scientists were hiding. You are fucking kidding me. Where, where did you all come from? Who's, who's in the bathroom? Oh, is that fucking Riker? Oh my god. Did he just tackle me? Oh, there, Rykov's unconscious. There we go. I'm a master of stealth. Fucking top notch, baby. That's me. Fucking amazing. Just be beautiful. Fucking just great, great A. Amazing. Beautiful.
sexy. Okay, who wants to get question first? Let's go with you, cunt. Speak. How about going to the toilet? Relaxing a bit? Speak. Speak. How about going? I understand that's not a very nice thing to do. That's okay. I'm not a very nice man. Answer me. Even in our country, we can research as we please. Speak. <laughs> Who's there? One four seven eight six. There we go. Just dealing with the scientists one guy at a time. God, they're so fucking flighty, it's annoying. Speak. The scientists. We don't get along. Okay. One at a time. I can finally interrogate some scientists. I just wish it wasn't serious. Such a fucking stupid method. Speak. The door will open with frequency one four three point four five. Okay, 143.45? Why are there so many different door frequencies? Are they just... Jeez. Speak. There we go. I'm a master. And then, uh, Rykov's still knocked out here in the, uh, in the toilet. Are we allowed to kill Rykov? Is that, is that on the menu? As I say, because if that's like Raiden's parent, then I don't want to accidentally cause a time paradox. That would be bad. Oh, this is what's stopping us. One four eight one three. Uh, let's try one four seven eight six. Got it. That's why they call me the master. This is one hell of a room, jeez. Well, I figured out where everyone was hiding. They weren't exactly very fucking subtle about it either, were they? Oh, that, and we gotta search the lockers for any items. It's okay, I have a faster way of opening these. I have a faster way of opening these, don't you worry, boys. Take it. The trade off is worth it. Sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. And I'll say I am a man full of creative solutions. Fuck. 
Why why does why is this the one that doesn't bust? And it's also marked differently from all the others. Well, I don't really anything worth grabbing in the lockers except an extra suppressor. All right, who wants to beat the shit out of Rykov? I know I do. It's all I could think about. Oh, I know what I could do for him. I wonder if he's starving too. How do I take off his pants? Okay. Here you go. Time for super happy poopy time. Something to eat. He even sounds like Raiden. Oh god, he actually <laughs> fucking ate it. God, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hit him with the direction? Ah, fuck it. Someone in here. Give me a break. <laughs> and we could harass him. <laughs> what, you want to join me? Fine then. Come on in. What? Speak. The Colonel. He has trouble with right mushrooms. Russian glow caps. Speak. April 30th. Do you know what day it is tomorrow, Jack? Is he just full of references to MGS2? Water. Okay, that'll do. But what do I do with him now? Good. You've taken care of Rykov. Now to take those clothes he's wearing. But don't take his clothes off there, out in the open. It's far too conspicuous. Also, once you've disguised yourself as Rykov, you'll need to find some place to hide the real Rykov's body. There must be a place where you can take Rykov's clothes and hide his body. Drag Rykov's body over there. Eva might know a suitable location. Try asking her. Be careful not to wake Rykov up while you're dragging him, and make sure you're not seen by enemy soldiers or scientists. Oh, I don't think that'll be a concern. Snake, enemy soldiers who operate in... You took care of Rykov? Good. Now drag him to the locker room. There shouldn't be anyone in there. You won't need to worry about anyone seeing you take his clothes, and you can hide his body too. The locker room is on the southwest. Okay. That'll do. There we go. Now he's dead. Like he wasn't even here. Fucking so what? We're just gonna kill the man, then drag him into a locker? I frequently question the ethics of our actions. Like, Snake just kills everyone in the lab, and then just fucking... Well, well to be fair, Rykov's an asshole. No one likes him.
Well, that went pretty well. <laughs> he wears a fucking thong? What the fuck? Jesus. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. With a picture of Raiden. And another picture of... <laughs> the thong has a fucking lightning bolt on it? <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I killed him. How does this not cause a time paradox? I feel like I did something I shouldn't have. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Doing God's work, one bullet at a time. Okay, now we're in a section we haven't been in. I see you've got Rykov's clothes from him. Disguise yourself as Rykov and infiltrate the West Wing, where Sokolov is being held. Select Officer from Uniform on the camouflage screen to change into Rykov's uniform. However, that won't be enough to pass as Rykov. To really become Rykov, you'll need to make your face look like his, as well as your clothes. As for how you do that, well, I'll let you think about it. If there's something to... When you fight... So what, that's still... Wait a sec, that dumbass mask was actually related to the mission? Freak. what are you doing? You got Rykov's clothes, didn't you? Hurry up and change into them. If you fail your mission, you'll be taking me down with you. Get it together! Eva, about the escape plan. Yeah, we're getting out on a wig. The ground effect vehicle. Right. Here they call it an Akranel plan. The Soviet Union has already finished testing one of those? No, this is just the prototype given to Gru. It was designed to search out and destroy American submarines. That's why it has a long range and a decent speed of 470 miles per hour. It's far beyond the VE-1 developed three years ago. The problem for us is that the one here doesn't have any weapons on board. If we're tailed, our only choice is to try and shake them. I'll leave that to you. Sorry if I won't have the time to play stewardess for you. Snake, what are you doing? You got... Oh, yeah. Yeah, they literally spell out shit, but I'm kind of fine with it because it, for me, it's just an excuse to hear more dialogue from characters. I don't really care very much about Major Zero, but in MGS 1 and 2, like hearing more of the Colonel, I always thought was entertaining. That and hearing Otacon just describe shit was entertaining. I, I really did like Otacon. The downside of this being a prequel is I... Don't get to be with the best boy anymore. Otacon is definitively best boy so far. What was it? The best boss fight? Because uh, we've played one, the Twin Snakes, two, and uh, currently we're playing through three. Is The end is the best boss fight. Otacon's best boy. I don't know who best girl is because it sure as shit is not Rose from MGS2. Snake. Have you seen Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb? What? Dr. Strangelove. Have you seen it? Uh, no. It's about this insane American Air Force commander who sends a bomber out to drop an H-bomb on Russia. It's a black comedy. Doesn't sound very funny to me. The actor who plays Dr. Strangelove also plays two of the other main characters. It's actually kind of funny once you get past the scary parts. It just came out this year, so I bet you could still go and see it. Maybe when I'm in a lighter state of mind, I'll give it a try. What was it? Yeah, I... I the end has to be the best boss fight to date. The pain was... Interesting. His entire shtick was literally just not the bees! <laughs> it, he was, it was more just funny than weird than anything else. The fear was a fucking joke. And I think the Fury was basically Vulcan Raven, but in MGS3. It was, it was entertaining, but they kept saying, don't attack him from the front. Well, that's not really an issue when I could just whip out a light machine gun and light him the fuck up like Rambo. God, that was wild. 
<laughs> that, that, it, that, that I found entertaining. I enjoyed that. Oh, God. Medical history. Oh, hey, I have a food and medical history. I was, I was just kind of pressing triggers. What does L1 do? Okay, L1 doesn't do anything. What about the old man? The, we, we already talked about the end. The end was the, like, best multi-layered boss fight I have had. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I enjoyed it very much. There we go. And, uh, we want to go no paint. There we go. We definitely don't stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> Gee, I want... It's I have a crossbow bolt sticking out of my arm. There we go. They'll never notice. Eva, I disguise myself as Rykov. Hmm. What's wrong? Something's not quite right. Not right? Hmm. What? What is it? Hmm. I got it. Your face is all wrong. Let's say what now? I mean, your face isn't his. Well, I would hope not. Well, you need to do something about that. Do what? Well, you're a smart guy. You figure it out. <laughs> In order to sneak into the West Wing, you need to become Rykov. That means more than just wearing his clothes. Your face has to match his, too. There must be a way to do that. How do we do that? I'll never know, In unless she spells it out for me like a dumb twad. Okay, you're wearing Rykov's uniform. <laughs> they all Would call they me out for it? Really? I don't think the disguise is going to work unless you make yourself look more like him. Why, why did they just randomly provide me with a mask of Rykov's face from the beginning? The camo index located... Okay, not that. Snape? Uh, fuck the burns. Major... I disguise myself as Rykov. Hmm. What? No good? No. Snake, you can't pass yourself off as Rykov simply by wearing his clothes. You need to make your face look like his as well. There must be a way to make your face look like Rykov's. Think, Snake. They never tell you outright, they just hint at it. <laughs> to really become Rykov, <laughs> you'll need to make your face look like his as well as your clothes. As for how you do that, well, I'll let you think about it. Jesus Christ. Snake. Okay, I, I just, I, I have to know. <laughs> what if I take off the uniform but put on the mask? <laughs> there we go. They'll never suspect a thing. There we go. Officer Rykov. I see you've got Rykov's clothes from him. Disguise yourself as Rykov and infiltrate the West Wing, where Sokolov is being held. Select office. I see you. Desert. Okay, they don't call me out for just wearing the mask. Snake, what are you doing? You got Rykov. Okay, fine. Fuck all of you. I just wanted to see if I could fish for more Kodak calls. There we go. I don't stand out like a sore ma sword thumb at all. Okay, but on that note, uh, I do think I'm going to take a 15-minute break, though. It is about 3 o'clock. Now this is as good a time as ever. When I come back, we're going to see the uh, Rykov chapters, because I definitely, definitely blend in, I swear. It's wrong, like I've been telling you all these years. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> what, I'm, I'm attractive. I'm, I'm good looking. You people may not know what I look like, but I guarantee you I am very good looking. Just take my word for it. I definitely don't look like a balding middle-aged man. With a giant green sword. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, you've been listening to Mason FM with the Midnight Hour. It's time for everyone's favorite part of the stream where I play some music. When I come back, showtime. I'm also going to eat more of this uh, really burnt uh, imitation crab that I made.
ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to Mason FM with the Midnight Hour. Welcome back, me. Alrighty. Time to show everyone just how fancy Rivekov can be. Oh, he even salutes. Okay. Okay. Your Rykov disguise is complete. Now they won't stop you no matter what you do. Even if I punch someone in the face? Right. Really? Really. Why? Rykov's just that kind of guy. Uh -huh. He's an asshole? Once you're disguised as Rykov, you can get into the West Wing where Sokolov is being held. To get to the entrance to the West Wing, pass west through the main wing of the... Okay, that simplifies Don't things. Don't worry about Rykov. No one will find him in the locker room. No one's alive. alive in that section of the but building. If you do find him, your disguise will be useless. You won't be able to get into the West Wing, and your mission will be a failure. So, whatever you do, don't open the locker with Rykov in it, all right? Oh, I, I kind of already opened it. Don't worry. Okay, you're disguised as Rykov. You ought to be able to pass for the real deal in that outfit. You can go anywhere you want, and nobody's going to ask questions. But don't forget that you can't equip most of your weapons when you're in disguise. Snow. Okay, what about Major Zero? What do you got for me? Ah, your Rykov disguise has turned out nicely. Yeah, not even his own mother could tell the difference. Indeed, you're starting to irritate me already. Why? This look should make me more popular. I wouldn't bet on it, but whatever. Now that you're indistinguishable from the real Rykov, you'll be able to get into the West Wing, to which only Volgin and Rykov have access. Head for the West Wing of the Weapons Lab. That's where Sokolov is being held. Enter the main wing from the second floor of the East Wing. Pass west through the main wing, and you'll come to a connecting passageway. The West Wing is at the other end of that passageway. Infiltrate the West Wing and rescue Sokolov. While you're disguised as Rykov, you can press the action button to perform a salute. If you want, why don't you try saluting some of the soldiers and scientists? <laughs> why? As long as you're disguised as Rykov, you'll be able to go anywhere in the fortress, and no one will suspect a thing. Now may be a good time to do a little exploring around the place. Yeah, are you telling me I could have grabbed this outfit and then blew everything the fuck up earlier? Ah, your Rykov. That, that would have been helpful information. Wait, let me try hitting on paramedic. Snake Eye. Huh? Huh? Uh, hello there? Paramedic, it's me. Snake? Oh, it's you. For a minute there, I thought you were someone else. Why are you so nervous? You've seen this mask before, right? Yeah, but it looks so cool. Huh? Cool. You know, kind of like a Venusian. A Venusian? I mean, not the crab kind, the other kind. Paramedic, do you really think a guy you've never seen before would suddenly call you on this frequency? I know it sounds ridiculous, but still. What if it was a being from another planet? You can't rule out that possibility. Did, did she seriously think Rivekov was a fucking alien? To take okay, and I assume I have access to some of the that uh, weird gear that I wasn't able to use before. So let's lose the guns. We'll go with the handkerchief and the cigar gas spray. Disguised as a cigarette. Puts enemies to sleep. And a handkerchief. Puts enemies to sleep in CQC. Ah, lovely. Oh, this ought to be interesting. What the fuck? Oh, hey, that's the Shagahod. There we go. I don't stand out like a sore thumb at all. Alright, time for some shenanigans is Rykov.
Sir. <laughs> he still does the snake walk, and the guys just don't fucking... They don't pay attention to it at all. Ah, oh, I don't get to fuck around with it. Here it is. Oh, hey, there's totally not Eva. You can count on me. What about the philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you? Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I see. I don't think it's no, loaded. Don't. Oh. from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagahods. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for phase two are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium-range ballistic missiles. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself accelerating it in phase two a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the shagohod the unit incorporates the same technology used in the vostok rocket that sent major gagarin into space using this booster the shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour that monster can go more than 300 miles per hour yes and from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress, capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. So this a is where it all prototype began. prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. 
Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohar as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohard goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohard will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3. You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Vulcan's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh, no. She is Volgin's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> no. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me. Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the US? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. 
Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please, watch over my family. Sokolov is basically Russian Otacon, then. They're dealing with the same moral dilemma. Oh god, I think I know where this is going. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. Again? Who are you? <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. That's how he identifies I him. Better than anyone else. <gasps> I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. Fairy disguise. It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Stay out of this. See why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? <sighs> of course. But first. I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. <laughs> doesn't want to watch that. Jesus Christ, he is working him.
That was one hell of an ass kick, and I'm surprised Jack stayed standing for most of it. Christ. I just, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> he finds out who he is by cock check. I knew it. Volgan got dicked by Rykov. I called it. That's how he knows. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Is that what MGS2 is about when President Johnson just goes up and put her there, son, grabs him by the dong? <laughs> Wait, torture room. Tell me! Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. You'd better start talking. Please, stop it! <laughs> Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. I never do it. You! than he was. But first, let's take a look at your body, shall we? You're a tough one, my friend. A lesser man would be dead by now. <laughs> this ought to be interesting. Well then, let's get started. <laughs> What is your target? Is it the Shagohad? Or Sokolov? Or maybe it's the Legacy? Answer me! Who is helping you? Who let you in here? You're a tough one. But even you must have your limits. I am a patient man. Is he going to take the bag off my head at some point? Here's where the fun really begins. This is where the fun begins. Wait, that torture chamber looks familiar. My body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. Answer me! How much does the CIA know? They're after my legacy, aren't they? Your real target is the philosopher's legacy, isn't it? It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. Admit it! We're after the location of the legacy! The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? One hundred billion dollars, divided up and hidden all over the world. 
And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. The Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. Way to tell me. You'll never live. What's this? A transmitter? Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was gonna be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. Pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances, I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that, but he is your apprentice. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it! Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras. What is it, Tanya? He's suffered enough. Well, well. Why are you protecting him? That smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop it! Taking a fancy tour, eh, Ocelot? No. I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. There, satisfied now. Well, that was refreshing. Come, we're going to my room. So you survived the Colonel's torture, eh? He also just kind of lost his fucking eye. Jesus Watching Christ. Watching this just made me realize something. <laughs> it's
It's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> You got lucky this time, Tatiana. Run. What the fuck? 144.75. What the hell was that? There's some idiot behind her waving around a frequency. I've prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west. Pass underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You're quiet. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. <laughs> I'll be in touch. Why is it that in every Metal Gear there's always a torture scene? I think he's gotten the worst of it so far. I'm gonna say Snake just got electrocuted. Fucking Jack here just got absolutely lit the fuck up. An SA. Oh, a single uh, army action. Says I could eat it on the spot. I demand snackies. Who is this man? Okay, so I did. Yeah, that fucking weird dude with the glasses who was hovering behind the boss. Like, that had to be a Kojima meme or something. Snake? Major, you're all right. I wouldn't say all right, but at least I'm alive. That's good enough. But they took all my weapons and equipment from me. Well, you've still got your radio and medical items with you. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Perhaps Volgan's not finished with you just yet. Yeah, well, I'm not finished with him yet either. Snake, you've got to escape from that cell somehow. There must be a way. Use your head. The boss gave you a gun? Yeah. A single action army. For what? I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyway, why don't you use that gun to shoot? I can't. Why not? No bullets. I see. Well, you'll be able to get some once you're outside. First, you've got to escape from that cell. There must be a way. Don't give up. Now, if only I could spin it like Ocelot. Snake! The door of the cell is set up to open when it receives a radio signal on a certain frequency. If you only knew the frequency, you could use your radio to open the door. Snake. Mm. Snake, your right eye. Hmm. The cornea and the lens are severely damaged and the eyeball is ruptured. So... So I can't heal it, even in the survival viewer. 
I'm afraid not. I'm sorry, Snake. I wish there was something I could do. Don't worry about it. I can still fight. I don't doubt you. But don't do anything crazy, okay? From here on, it's going to be difficult to see out of your right eye. Attacking in first-person view will feel a little different from before. Be careful. You need to build up your stamina before trying to escape. Without your stamina, you won't have the strength to punch and kick. Be sure to eat whatever food the guard brings you. Take a look around the cell. You might be able to find some edible plants or animals. In any case, you've got to eat something to restore your stamina. That's an order. Sleep is another good way to replenish your life and stamina. Save the game and take a break. When you load the game from your save date... Sleep... Okay, so sleeping's an option. Let's call Tanya. Snake, I wanted to ask you something. What? In the torture room? Why did you protect me when Ocelot was about to fire? Because I knew that the chamber wasn't empty. And you'd be dead if he pulled the trigger. But your eye... I was tied up and it happened so fast. It was the best I could do. I feel a little strange, but it won't interfere with the mission. What about me? Huh? Did you only save me because I was important for completing your mission? What other reason would there be? And when the mission is over? Right now, it's just the mission. The mission you used to love? That's not what I mean. I'm trying to dig up as much as I can on that cell. Just sit tight. Snake, there's got to be a way out of there. Don't give up. You should make friends with him. He seems pretty based. Oh, well. Huh? Fuck you. Take it back. What? You don't want this? Uh, no. See, we're making friends already. So, if I make friends with the guard, he'll let me out, maybe. I have to keep feeding him, though. At least I still got my cigar. Well, at least not everything's terrible. God, what, wait, what the hell? Fake death pill. Gunshot wound inflicted by the boss. Bullet has become lodged in the body. The fuck? Small transmitter found buried. Very strange. No food. Well, I suppose we'll leave the fake death pill in there in case we need it. Okay, so we're gonna have to slowly convince the guard that we're friends. I'd uh, probably sort out that gunshot wound. I mean, it's not a bad idea. I'll just chill for a minute, I guess. So I have to befriend the guard over time. Again? Oh, oh, I can't hold it anymore. Uh, uh, hold on. Is it because I gave him the bat? He has diarrhea. It's coming out. Here it comes. Uh, still going. Never change, Kojima. Jesus Christ. No, it's Mason. Hello, it is I. I do like the idea of using the fork to eat stuff, though, instantly. I can just eat on the go now. I mean, the person who had to poop. 
Well, now you talk about it. <laughs> you could tell because you didn't hear him wiping. There you go. Luckily, I blend in perfectly. See? Well, at least they let me keep my cigar. Jesus Christ, that eye. There we go. He can't spot me if I'm underneath the bed. I disappeared. I left. I'm gone now. Knock it off! <laughs> He's so bothered. Hey. Does he wait? Does he? Can he see me? Shit. He knows. I have to do it when he's not looking. There you go. Now he'll have no idea where I am. Is it really the bats? Oh, 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 I can't hold it anymore. This guy spends an awful lot of time shitting. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I gotta wonder who that glasses guy was. The prison guard, the prison guard diet, if you will. And I like how the arrow's still there. No one bothered to take that out. That's just become a part of the ecosystem at this point. When did you save last? Uh, I saved a little bit before this. We're still fine. There we go. I'll hide far back in the corner under the bed. He won't be able to spot me. I wish I still had that cigarette knockout gas. <laughs> the average arrow enjoyer. Job time. See, we're making friends with the guard. If I could befriend him and he keeps feeding me, then we should be okay. Oh, well, we're gonna be here for a while until he comes back. Maybe I, I, I think I have to feed him three times, then we should be good. I do like the fact that he just periodically feeds me, though. It's a little weird, but okay. Okay, because he's already fed me twice. We just got to wait for the third time. How long could it possibly take? Hey, hey eat up! Uh, see, he's feeding me. He's he's feeding me even faster. Huh? Well, 
You're lost. I fed him three times. Is he going to free me? Hey, you're not such a bad guy after all. I knew it. Holy I, uh, shit. Not, uh, I guess not all Americans are dogs. You mean it? Yeah. You know, before the war started, I used to live in America. I even had a, a wife and a kid. You must be pretty lonely. Yeah, I am pretty lonely. Really lonely. What's your kid's name? Johnny. Johnny. Nice ring to it. Really? You like it? Well, if you say so, I'll believe you. Johnny Sasaki. Actually, That's the guy who shit his pants. My name is Johnny, too. God damn it. All the firstborn sons in my family are called Johnny. My dad's a Johnny, and my son's son will probably be a Johnny, too. 144, 75. The whole clan of Johnnies. Why do we have a Cold War anyway? Our two countries used to be such good friends. Yeah, I hear you. I just want to see my family again. Must be rough. Yeah. Not as rough as you have it, though. Here. I filched them from your equipment when the Colonel wasn't looking. Aww. It's uh, the least I can do. Well? Don't suppose you could let me out of here? Huh? Well, I can't do that. Hey, don't you go getting any funny ideas. If you try to escape, I'll have to shoot you. I've said too much. I gotta go. What did he just give me? <sighs> Damn it. We weren't able to friendship our way out. Wait a, wait a sec. That wasn't just any ciggies, that was the cigarette spray! God, I'm a fucking genius. God, I'm so great. God, I'm a mate. I am a fucking... Oh, that was awesome. Oh, hey there, Chris. Hands up in the air, this is... Wow, thanks for the raid. I brought friends. Oh, no. This Chris guy played some video games, huh? Fucking everyone is here. That's amazing. Fucking hell. Oh, thanks for the follow. Fucking, okay, so we were basically able to friendship our way through this. He gave me the Siggy spray, so that gives me an idea. What if... Not me. Hey there, buddy. We got him. But Mason doesn't know how to tell. I'm sorry. I haven't fixed it yet. I'm sorry. The door of the cell seems to open in. Snake, you've got. Okay. Major, I'm sorry. So glum. I couldn't. Don't say it. <sighs> you weren't able to rescue him, but that doesn't mean your mission has failed yet. Eva said they've completed phase two. There is no time left. You must destroy the Shagohod at all costs. That will be our final tribute to him. Right. Snake? You okay, so I have that frequency, and I was able to knock out Johnny without killing him. So, you found yourself a cigarette-shaped narcosis gun. The cigarette-shaped narcosis gun is just what the name says. A sleeping gas gun shaped like a cigarette. It must be a test model that Granin's lab is working on for KGB spies. Equip it and press the weapon button to fire sleeping gas. 
It's got a short range, but any enemy that gets hit by the gas will be knocked out cold. That's pretty clever. Snake. If only you knew the frequency. Snake, I've got some good news. What is it? Volgan isn't planning to kill you. At least not for the time being. Why? I think he wants to make you suffer some more. Oh, that's a relief. Yeah. This means you'll have more of an opportunity to escape. I was being sarcastic. Anyway, Volgan has given orders that you're to be kept alive. So the guard will bring me food and medical supplies, huh? Exactly. If anything happens to you, he'll be executed by Volgan. Hmm. Well, this could be useful. Hmm. Anything, huh? I'm trying to dig up... Fucking, oh yeah, Chris, what were you guys jamming before you stopped by here? I do appreciate the rate. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really focused on this so far. Like, the last, like, hour has been absolutely lit. <laughs> so I knocked him out, and that weird invisible guy gave me that fucking, that clown. That was the same frequency that was on the back of Johnny's picture. Oh, 144.75. Don't execute Johnny. I would never. Did you manage to escape? Yeah, I'm out. Be careful. In your present state, you're practically naked. You don't have a single decent weapon, and you'll never survive in a battle. Take some time and pull yourself together. Eva says she's recovered your equipment, so rendezvous with her as soon as possible to get your gear back. Use the escape route Eva set up for you. Go down into the sewers through the manhole in the northwest section of Krosnigrad. I was right. That does lead somewhere. Start out by exiting the holding cells and heading northwest. Oh, God. You guys are probably able to get pretty, pretty creative, I assume. You mean Hideo and Koji? Come on. He's not that bad. The level 99 key card. Jeez. Fucking what kind of hacks are we talking? <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. Okay, we should probably go grab some gear. I don't even have a knife on me, so I can't CQC him. I'm joking. Is he, though? Is he really? If I was going to hide a bunch of gear, where would I hide it? This is where they beat the fuck out of me. And we were able to lock Johnny in the poo hole. Oh, and some medical supplies. Medical supplies. Yeah, fucking... I, th like, this last hour, Jack has gotten absolutely fucked up. I have a sneaking suspicion, too, that I think... Both the boss and Eva, because neither of them are working with either A, the Americans, or B, the Soviets... So I'm assuming they're working for the Patriots. The thing is, the Patriots have... Based on the end of MGS2, the Patriots are dead, so we still haven't figured out how that works. You have a fork. What else does a man need? Without weapons or equipment, you're not going to be able to continue your That's mission. Amazing. I've got all your belongings with me. Let's meet up outside the fortress. There's an open manhole in the northwestern section of the fortress. You can use it to get down into the sewers and make your way out of Groznygrad. To get to the manhole, go under... Okay, that's simple enough. I could follow that. Thank you for the follow, Blub, and, uh, Curse. I appreciate it. Eva, what happened to Ocelot? He shot me in the face! <laughs> Can't get Jesus enough Christ. of him, huh? He doesn't trust you. I know. So it's me you're worried about, then. Eva! I'm fine. I know how to handle him. Besides... I think he's got his mind set on someone else right about now. What? Figure it out. Oh, does he have a boner for the boss now? Why fucking as as Jack deals with his daddy issues or mommy issues? Thank you for the follow, Luki. I appreciate it. Without what? We've come a long way from playing Let It Die. The woodland. He's still telling me about camo after I get my fucking eye shot out. Really. Snake, you're really gonna feel the cold with no clothes on. The Major's right. You'll burn stamina a lot faster when you're naked. Be sure to eat regularly. 
Snake, now that you've lost even your CQC knife, you won't be able to use CQC. You won't be able to grab or throw enemies either. You can still throw punches by pressing the CQC button and launch combos by pressing it several times in a row. That'll have to do for now. That's not very good. Snake, now that all your clothing has been taken from you, you won't be able to camouflage yourself. Remember the basics of a sneaking mission. Stay out of the enemy's line of sight. Okay, there is a path that we Be can careful. take. Time for actual stealth. Snake. Okay, so uh, that area that I found earlier, there's like a path of ducks that lead to the northwest where the manhole is. If I could follow that as far as Snake, it can take me. Clothes. Not yet. So you're still naked. Yeah. Hell yeah. When you don't have any clothes on, your body loses heat quickly. That makes you burn stamina a lot faster. Make sure you keep eating. It doesn't need to be clothes. Anything you have that can cover you up should help you conserve stamina. To eat? Alrighty, time to get our shiggy diggy on, boys. And, uh, grills. Got it. Should I kill Johnny with the fork, or should we just... Well, okay, we'll leave him. He, he gets a pass. He gave me those ciggies. God, that's so cool. I figured feeding him would make him go shit, and I was like, okay, if I keep feeding him, we'll become friends. I didn't realize there was a whole cutscene dedicated to it. God. I can't wait to play that through again. Okay, we're gonna have to go around the back. Okay, that's the front. I need to get to the vents. Gotta watch all my angles. Ah, shit. Wait, there's a box! Okay. I could get the jump on that guy... ...fairly easily. If I could get the jump on him, I'll be able to make it to the vents and crawl at least halfway there. In theory. Because I'm not going to be using the main gates. I'll mostly be using those open ducks. The good thing is, they're all hungry and weak, so I could punch him in a few hits and he'll go down. As long as no one sneaks up on me, we should be fine. Wait, how did he know I was a box? You son of a bitch. Oh god, I'm gonna have to kill him with the fork, aren't I? Don't open that. I may be naked, but that I still can I could take you. You you did it, you fucked up. And it's that easy, baby. Now to finish him. Oh god, I so I can't I can't stab him to death, but I can slash him until he dies. Oh god, that's so unsanitary. That was strange. I think I almost just soft locked my game. Okay, let's go. I was gonna say, did you guys discover anything interesting during your shenanigans? Get back here. This is still the first playthrough, by the way. We have we have yet to get to the higher difficulties. For obvious reasons. God, there's so many, like, little things to discover. They're not necessarily, like, everyone shitting on Raiden like they were during MGS2. It's mostly, like, little other details. And I'm also trying to interrogate damn near every guard in the game for obvious reasons. Well, I was gonna say, the vent should be able to carry us most of the way we're trying to go. And Snake can now eat on the go, so it's less of a pain in the ass for me to eat stuff. Because we're still trying to get Thick Snake, remember? And I have bullets for the revolver! I just had an ad for noodles! God, I fucking hate the taste of ramen, I really do. I... I very much meant to just reload the game, reload the gun. But I forgot that equipping it reloads it. That was... 
very fucking stupid. That was... Why did I do that? Why am I retarded? I just... I was like, okay, I need to reload my revolver real quick, and then fucking... It was, it was fully loaded. There was absolutely no reason whatsoever for me to fire that. I just made my mission way harder than it has to be. Uh, I thought I'd have more torture scenes, because I thought it'd be like MGS1, where they throw my ass in a cell and then torture me, but I guess this time around they're like, nah, it's okay, we'll take a pass. But it's okay, I still got the revolver. Oh, cool, he even poses with it. I was going to say, if I could... Sp wait, let me... I have an idea. Okay, so I can't spin it. Can I? Is there anything I could press to do anything with this? Okay, no. You can't spin the revolver. I was hoping they'd carry the memes to, like, maximum, but... Why is he limping? It's because he's hungry? Okay, we're gonna have to take the long way around. Okay, long way around isn't an option either. I guess I guess we're just fucked then, huh? Time for good old-fashioned stealth, boys. Let's go. Damn it. Okay, I got spotted by the one guy. Wow, that guy is really fucked up. Oh dear, this is rapidly going south. I'm just gonna have to pop up and shoot everybody, aren't I? Who's that? Oh god, that was a terrible fucking idea! Holy shit, that sucked. That was fucking awful. Jesus Christ. God damn it. damn it! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh okay. god! Run! Run! Why? Why can't I run with the revolver? Why does he just stand there like a dumbass? That wasn't the time to be trying to flex on people. Shit! Just go! Time to leave. Okay, so using the vents sucks because it puts me in a position where I'm just kind of fucked. So next time we play this on hard, we're not using the vents. We're using a different route that is not the vents. Fucking piece of shit. Single armory action, more like shitty army action. Oh shit, yeah, they still know. Is that barking I hear? No! No, stay away from me! No, get away! Stop that! Don't you touch me! God damn it! Just leave me alone! Okay, as long as the dog can't crawl, we're good. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Eat shit, pooper! God, I'm a fucking... That went terribly. Holy shit, did that go terribly. All according to plan. Snake, you're already in the sewers? Eva, yeah, I just got down here. Hmm. It's okay, they didn't I'm even notice. Now. The door at the north end is open, right? Uh, Snake? Let me guess, there's a problem. Yeah. What is it this time? The Colonel found out you escaped. He did, huh? I figured as much. Yeah, and now all of Grozny Grad is on red alert. Just my luck. But once I'm out of the fortress... You can't get out. I can't? When the fortress went on red alert, they sealed off the sewers. You 
got Is that because I got me. spotted? I'm serious. And that means the escape route I laid out is it's sealed off too. God damn it. Right. And they just sent a unit out looking for you. Down here? Uh-huh. They'll be there any minute now. You've got to get out quick. But isn't the exit sealed off? You should be able to get out by heading straight north. Book it, Snake. If they find you, you're dead. Great. All I got is a single action army revolver with four rounds. Okay, 22 rounds. Big whoop. Sooners would have been locked down anyway. Wait, really? I was going to say it. No, I'm not. I'm not we'll, we'll figure it out on hard for sure. I don't feel like that's true. The M9 won't put them to sleep. Okay, fuck it. And, uh, so no matter what you do, they don't really have... To, maybe Johnny has his own like separate animations in uh, the Twin Snakes. Either that, or they may have him under a specific ID for a character, and that prevents him from kind of uh, following, like, traditional common sense. Oh, this isn't a transport area. That's a hidey hole. Well, at least those guards aren't very fast. Is Karotan here, at least? No, he's not. Okay, let's let's get the fuck out of here. God, why, why is this even an option? And why did they put so much emphasis on it? Because it's it's terrible. This is this is an awful weapon. I love the thrill of reloading in the middle of a battle. Fucking ocelot smoking crack. Okay, as long as they don't catch up too fast, we should be good. Okay, maybe we should go. You didn't see anything. Oh no, it's handgun ferret. Well, at least they're not moving very quick. Oh, please, what are you gonna do? Bite me? And there's a lot of hidey holes. Yeah, I have to, I have, I have no gear. No, 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 get out of here. That was a little barbaric. Revol <laughs> Revolver snake, it's his newest form. So I appreciate everyone stopping by. No, I'm not falling for that trick again. Trick me once, shame on me. Trick me twice, shame on you. And there's some medical supplies. Yeah, the life meds are surprisingly hard. Like, you can only get them from a very specific uh, fruit. So it's not as easy as just stacking them. Like, Snake has a lot of health, but he regenerates it really slowly. It's not like the other games where Snake has a little health, but he could heal instantly. Unless uh, I was playing uh, E Extreme and MGS2. In that case, the game just tells you to get fucked anytime you get hurt by anyone. What's that? You got a mild kick in the face? Well, I guess you're just going to suffer from that until the next boss fight. Left or right? Let's go right. Always with the sewers. Every game needs a sewer section. I feel like I'm at, like, the ass of the base. Oh, dear. Wait, is that behind me? Oh, shit! Oh, leave me alone! Fuck off! Do it, I dare ya! You can open the door, you know that, right? God damn it. Oh, there goes that idea!
All right, it's time for Jack to Jack. Off. God damn it. My frames. My frames. I've been waiting for this. Nobody interfere. I like how most of the scenes in MGS3 are like fucking Jack living via Deus Ex Machina moments. He should have died like four times by now. Maybe five. Oh dear. That's not very good. Yeah, they really want to find me, huh? Who's this Are asshole? One of the cobras? Sad. So sad. A host of sorrows. And you are one of them. Wait, that's the guy who showed us the code. Uh, God, do I have to fight this guy with the fucking revolver? That's not very good. Okay, uh, let's call for some backup. Snake! What happened? Snake! Snake! What? Snake! What's your status? Snake! 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 Respond! Can you not hear me, you asshole? Snake. I, fucking God, Major Zero smoking crack. Snake, what's going on? Snake. Snake. 
I'm not dead, you dumb cunt. Snake, come on, say something. Snake, don't. Oh god, these guys are all a bunch of useless shitters this time around, aren't they? Snake, answer me. Snake. 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 Oh fuck you, people. Snake, don't do this to me. Snake. Snake. I don't think I've ever heard. I, aren't they all just doing the dying dialogue? Snake. Snake. What happened to you? Snake. I think Eva actually really likes Snake. Snake. Snake? Oh my god. Snake! Snake! <laughs> I could still save the game. I mean, that was a pretty big waterfall. Uh, yeah, yeah. Snake! Uh, fu fuck all y'all. Okay. Uh, I have the SIG spray, the SAA. I do have some smoke grenades. Fuck you, cunt! That's not fair. He has no HP either. Can I at least go under the water? I could use this to move quickly. Oh shit. No, the current's too high. What does it take to kill these assholes? Oh shit. Nope, oh, stay away from me. What the hell? That guy was covering his dick. God, why do these guys all look the same? You would have thought they'd use different animations for this. What do you mean they all look the same? Fucking blow me. Okay, so I could get the sorrow to fuck off temporarily. So many dead fish, too. I can't eat them. <laughs> that guy's getting eaten by a vulture. What a twat. I only got three more bullets left. Nope, don't touch me. If I can melee him. Yeah, eat shit. Thinking maybe fighting Ocelot might have been a better idea here. Is that who I think it is? Oh god, it's the pain. Didn't I kill you? Ah! It's the bees! Ah! Are these all just dead people then? Yeah, these are some of the soldiers in the forest and the ocelots that I killed. Well, not specifically the ones that I killed. Jesus Christ! What the hell is that? What is he shooting me with? Got a lot of you guys are missing your uh, next. They're either A, losing their necks, or B, losing their cocks. Poor bastards.
Jesus Christ. It's a clue. Oh shit, I'm gonna get hit by somebody. Fuck. Uh, oh wait, I know what I can do. You're right, death, so I can... Shit, I missed. Fuck, that didn't work either. Uh, let's try smoke. Just inside you, my ass. No, fuck you. Okay, that's the fear. Oh, so he's haunting me with all of my past battles. Okay, that's fine. The question is, how do I kill him? That's a lot of dead fish. Did you kill all these fish? Is that you? Yeah, get fucked. Oh. Oh god, that's sapping my health. Okay, so obviously don't touch these guys. Is that shit? God, how long is this section? I can't figure out a way to, uh... Okay, I have life medicine. Throw on the cigar, maybe. Okay, the cigar is not the answer. I have my guns! When did I pick these up? Well, that simplifies things. Let's see how much you like this. Fucking wanker. Pentazamin. I could use thermals. I could use sonar. I could use my treasured cardboard box. We'll get rid of the life medicine. Saw the pain, the fear. That would mean that, uh... The pain, the fear, the end, and then the fury. Ah, uh, they took all my food. Oh, they took all my calorie mates. We don't know if they're dead. They could just be a hallucination. Yeah, they're not showing up on sonar, so obviously that's an issue. Not an issue. Not showing up on thermals. Wait a sec. His head's kind of showing up slightly. There we go. What the fuck is that? And he has some weird, like, force shield on him. Either that or this is all some hallucination he's hit me with. Maybe I got hit with gas on the way in. Oh, <laughs> it's the old man. And the fucking parrot. Snake. Quit fooling around, Snake. Hmm. You're gonna have to do better than that, champ. Say, so what, is this a lot of the people who died during the Cold War, I imagine? Ah! 
So, so you guys killed a lot of people too. I don't see how this is my fault. Fucking we gave as good as we get. Sorry, I'm not a bitch. Yeah, I would have liked some more variety though on these guys. Okay, we've seen the end, we're all, so I imagine we're almost there. Let's say, so if they touch me, they drain my shit. Is this guy's entire thing just depression? Not nice and quiet there. If it isn't the fury! Ah! Sorry, buddy, you lost. I say so. And it said he was a spirit medium or some shit. I don't understand. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck was I supposed to do there? That took so long! Snake is dead. You're a fucking cunt. Give me the time paradox. Steak. Yeah, it's spell not time paradox. God damn it. Okay, so there's something in my inventory I could use here. Let me take a look at what I got. Uh, I have the fork. Fuck the fork. Let me equip my knife. Uh, I assume I can't gas him. Fuck the revolver. Maybe because these are the spirits of the dead, I'm supposed to, like, trank him or something. Or I just need to blow him the hell up. Uh, let's see what else. I can try out the directional mic. Okay, fuck the knife. I think you need Jesus. We're gonna need a lot more than Jesus here, boyo. Uh, let's try taking a picture of him. I could also use sonar. No, wait, sonar didn't work. Uh, motion detector. Just trying to use everything I got here. Food. Mm. I'm gonna puke. A fake death pill. I have the cut. Which of these? Extreme colds. Yeah, I have nothing for hallucinogens. Okay, so let me try this. Oh, he even has dialogue for if you fuck up. Come with me. Oh, my neck! Oh, my neck! See if he'll give me a clue. Am I the only one who just saw that shit just now? <laughs> that dude just sprinting? Okay, so he doesn't... Come on, give me a clue. Good. 
Very unhelpful, cunt. Thank you. Snake, what happened to you? Snake? Snake! Hmm. Snake! What's going on? Snake! Yeah, I can hear you too, dickhead. Thanks. Oh, the healing radio. That'll do, don't okay. That'll do. Okay, that didn't help us at all. But it was funny. Or, uh, well, fun. Okay, so what else are we packing here? Uh, we got the shotgun. Maybe we could scatter them. Fuck you mean it was me? I didn't do shit. <laughs> that asshole's getting attacked by a vulture. Even in death, he can't catch a break. Eat shit. Let's see what else I'm packing. Uh, I'll take off my suppressor. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, we're good. That's exactly what he'd say if he wanted me to give up. So I assume if running isn't going to... If he's just going to kill me at the end of the path, then that means I got to kill him first. Oh, shit. Okay, that's not working. What the hell? Fuck you and fuck your bees. Hey, are these all the fucking people I killed? Jesus Christ, wait a sec. Is that why there's so many ghosts? Oh God, I think. <laughs> Oh, that, oh dear, oh, that, that's, I think that's why all their necks are slid. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah. Uh, oh, God. How the fuck was I supposed to know that killing all those people would backfire this hard? It was never an issue before. No one was like, Mason, you probably shouldn't be killing all these guys. Jesus Christ. To be fair, they shot first. It hurt so bad. Maybe you shouldn't have joined the fucking military, dude. The sorrow has no health, so I killed. The so what? Did I accidentally kill him at some point? You invaded their cut. Maybe they should have done a better job defending it. Fucking Americans. <laughs> Block this, cunt. Oh god, that doesn't disperse him at all. So these are everyone that I killed. Wait, even the animals? Oh god, that's why the parrot was there on the end's corpse. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I feel like I've been saying that a lot. I try to avoid it, but it's fucking relevant. 
Oh dear. Yes. I did not kill this many fish. I did not kill this many fish. Okay, so that means when I get to the end of this, there's something I have to do. Because he's haunting me. It's okay, we'll make it. I just gotta be more careful. I'm just... I didn't mean to kill some. I didn't. If I knew killing all those guys would backfire this hard, I would never have done it. How the fuck was I supposed to predict this? I'm not fucking Rasputin. Jesus Christ. And to be fair, they attacked. They attacked first. I mean, like, I was on their land, but. Still. Uh, let's try the scorpion, I guess. Oh, what if I uh, take the pentasmin? And say, if I'm hallucinating, I can lower my heart rate. Heal up. There we go. Oh, this isn't it. Oh, hey, this thing has a laser dot. They were just doing self-defense. <laughs> Sorry, old timer. Aw, oh, the parrots. Okay, if I die again, I have one one more idea. And he's impressed by the amount of people that I killed. Okay, so this wasn't necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, maybe maybe should have leaned a bit more heavily on the tranquilizer. And do they appear in the order I kill? Jack's gonna have some serious fucking PTSD after this shit. Look, it's all the science. Well, I mean, they were running. What was I supposed to do? Go do science somewhere else. Fucking losers. Violence got me into this mess. Violence is gonna get me out. Fuck. Fuck. I mean, he has no health either. I don't know how to damage him. And tranking him didn't do shit either. Oh god, there's the fury. God, he's still angry.
Okay, let me call everyone again. Maybe they'll give me an idea. Snake, don't do this to me. Snake. Snake! Why are you all so fucking useless? Snake, don't quit on me now. Snake! Snake! Snake, you have to get up! Snake! Snake! Okay, this has to be some kind of hallucination. Snake, wake up. Open your eyes. Snake, wake up. Open your eyes. Hmm. Uh, Major Zero changed what he said. Wait, this is when he appeared and killed me again. Okay, I have to dodge that corpse or do something here. Let me try out the directional mic. Wake up. Hey there, Kureshu. And yes, I do read chat. I'm Go just... back to your own world. Leave this place. He told me to follow him. Now he's telling me to go back. Clicking. Oh, it's a skeleton. Hmm. So, in order to go back, what? I just keep focusing on going backwards, then he can't catch up? Oh god, once I move forward, it cuts off after a certain point. Oh god. I got one other option. Let's try and skirt him. Wait, no, no. It's not. Take the Pentasmin. What about the motion detector? Nothing on the motion detector. What about the camera? Maybe this is Fatal Frame. Boxes off the charts. What the hell? What was that? Something just appeared behind me. And he keeps telling me to wake up or some shit. Oh, do I t am I taking health damage when I'm in the water? What the fuck? Okay. I have to s what? I just took damage. Oh, the uh, skulls in the water. Okay, I got to skirt by this guy. God damn it! Fucking bitch. I just have to get to this one part and we'll be fine. I'm 
stuck with this shitty ass revolver that doesn't do any damage. I don't know. What did I do? I was supposed to hit him with a cigar spray. Throw the handkerchief at him. Cause the smoke. Wait a sec. My grenades. Fuck. Why did I think of that? I haven't used any of my grenades yet. Snake, wake up. Open your eyes. Snake. Shut the fuck up, Major Zero. No one likes you. Snake. Snake, don't. God, you all suck. Wait a sec. I know what I need to. Wake up, open your eyes. I have an idea. Snake, what happened? Okay, this is a stupid idea, but this could be it. Snake! Okay. I think what it wants me to do is it wants me to exit out, then load back in. It's either this or the grenades. Fuck. I guess. I like how he knows. He's like, I noticed you kept failing. Let me just mock you. You cunt. Okay, none of the assault rifles worked, so I have other options in my explosives that I can try here. Okay, it's got to be something to do with either A, the torches, or B, the grenades. There we go. Let's see you try and get out of this one. Okay, so that didn't really do much. Let's try, uh, chaff. Let me try throwing it in the air so it actually spreads. Okay, that, that didn't really do very much. Let's try stun grenade. Oh, that didn't help at all. All that did was deafen me. It's going to be a long night. Oh, shit. Uh, I doubt this is going to work, but I saw the fires were here earlier. Because I'd have to time the grenade throw, like, perfectly. I can throw the grenade overhand in the water. However, it just kind of blows up. I could have used the RPG for that perfectly. So it has something to do with the torch. Because the sorrow was hanging out over a corpse. So maybe if I go and light the corpse on fire, it'll kill the sorrow. Because based on what I'm seeing, I'm assuming the sorrow's already dead. And this is some weird, like, hunky-dory fucking magic going on right now. So if I could burn his corpse, then I think we win. I just have to make sure not to touch it, and I only have to hit it with the torch.
Okay, I think I can get through most of this section. Yeah, I, if these are all the people I killed, uh... God damn it. You're gonna have to do better than that, champ. Maybe, maybe all those guys that we uh, interrogated, we should have knocked out instead. I mean, you're dead now, so I assume you don't feel a thing. Okay, so we gotta burn the Sorrow's corpse. I have one lap. Shit, he keeps cornering me at that. I'm not taking very much damage from it, so we're still good. there. Oh god, and it's based on how many fucking dudes I killed. We're gonna be walking for a while again. Let's see. The fear. Oh, come on, I dodged that. Eat shit. You still suck. Luckily, I still have that frame unlimiter. That way it lets me walk a little faster. I did not kill this many fish. That was not me. That was that was definitely not someone else. God damn it. He keeps extinguishing my... Oh, that's why he's doing that. He's trying to knock me down so that way my torch is not lit. Because it doesn't really do much damage. God, that makes so much sense now. The torch is the only other light source here. See, when I hit him with the torch, he disappeared and flew all the way back. I wonder if we could find Rykov in here. Shit. Okay, so anytime he comes forward, I have to hit him with the torch. Timer just wasn't your show. Fuck, I missed my chance. Oh, come on, I can hit him on the rebound. Fuck. There sure is a lot of uh, zombos on this section. Oh shit. Okay, I can't dodge it by going under the water. Come on, a little closer. The Papa Mason give you a whack. Didn't you hear him? Too hot. 
Thanks to everyone's favorite weapon, the torch, baby. favorite boy, the Fury. Got any other advice for me? Snake, wake up! The revival pill! Use the revival pill on the game over screen! Are you fucking kidding? Really? Snake, what? The revival pill. Snake, are you. Snake! Snake, what happened to you? Snake? Snake! Snake, wake up! The revival pill! Use the revival pill on the game over screen! Wait a sec, so... Oh, because it's a hallucination, it's not real death! I would need the fake pill and the revival pill. Okay, I'm gonna try to burn him. Okay, fine then. Are you fucking kidding me? How the fuck was I supposed to figure that out? You have to shoot me. I can't. Shoot me. You want to finish your mission, don't you? Then you'll have to shoot me. <sighs> the spirit of the warrior will always be with you. Don't be sad. We'll meet again someday. We've managed to avoid drowning. So that was a hallucination, and the sorrow, I assume, is already dead. God, that has to be one of the strangest boss fights I've ever seen. Just took so goddamn long, too. Wonder what would have happened if I had just used my fake death pill, killed myself, and then did it at the start again. Snake, are you all right? That was a close yeah, call. Yeah, you are of no help until later. What the hell later. happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side. So that really was. Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yeah, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? 
The Sorrow was a man with, well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigin? Yo, I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Selino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Selino Yarsk. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time, they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you all right? Yeah. I took a pretty freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean, that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. Behind that waterfall, there's a cave. We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. Got it. See you there. Okay, probably should throw in some, uh... Oh, I don't have any of my equipment yet. Lovely. Damn it. Oh, so I never did get my equipment back. Damn it, I just want to... Fuck, I can't hit it. So, are there people around? I still have my boxes and stuff. But, yeah, that... I don't think I would have figured that one out on my own. Like, maybe as, like, a random effort to try it. But that... That solution was kind of out there. Uh, I do not think I would have put two and two together. And we still have caution, I assume, because... I don't really have a good reason, but... Yeah, that, that was fucking wild, I guess. And all those soldiers were the soldiers that I killed throughout the game. And considering how uh, weapons-free we've been... That was a lot of fucking dead dudes. The black uniform isn't really camouflage. It was intended to have... Already heard that one. Snake. The waterfall... That area is known. You go upstream. If you it was a lot. It was it was quite a few. Saving a It was a few. Oh, so that explains all the codec calls. They were all doing the death thing. And oh hey, I like how it didn't even show me where I was located on the uh, save screen. It was Snake, just question mark. Have you ever seen the guns of Navarum? Never. It's about a mission to blow up the huge guns on the island of Navarum during World War II. Six men are chosen to participate in the operation, each with his own special ability. They only have until an English destroyer passes by the island to complete their mission. Facing impossible odds, the six men have to sneak onto the island from a cliff on the southern shore. 
That doesn't sound like something I'd want to watch in my free time. Maybe not for you, but the Major was absolutely crazy about it. The Major? He told me to tell you how great it was. Tell him I'll go see it as soon as I get back to the States. Do you want to tell him yourself? Uh, no, let's save that for later. I'd better get back to the mission. Yeah. Jeez. Fuck it. But yes, that was totally fucking wild. Uh, the base was quite a ride. And now I am really thankful that uh, I did not do, uh, whatchamacallit. I did get the idea at some point to just go blasting my way through the base, and now I'm really glad we didn't do that. Because if I would have done that, we would have been in really deep fucking shit. Because <laughs> that was a lot of dudes. And probably would have accidentally doubled the number in the process. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's no longer a problem, though. We saved the day. The sorrow is still dead. And I am very confused. Even the fish, though. There were so many dead fish. I did not kill that many fish. That was not me. That was someone else. But on that note, uh, it's about 5.30 in the morning. I should probably just call it a night here. <laughs> Uh, let me go over the game plan, though. We killed the Sorrow. He didn't stand a chance, mostly because he was already dead. Yeah, I really thought I was supposed to light the corpse on fire, and then that didn't end up being the case. They... There's no fucking natural way I would have figured out... Oh, hey! It's not real death. It is a fake death. Like, hallucinations aside. He even said, back again. What a fucking wanker. Anyway, on that note, though, I am going to call it a night here. There's still a lot more MGS3. Uh, fucking, I thought it was funny as shit that the way we got out of the cell was befriending Johnny and then hitting him with the same Siggy spray that he gave us. That was good. That was quality. Fucking, I still think it's cool as hell that whipping the food, like, once he ate it the first time, I was like, what if I befriend the man? And they have a whole cutscene dedicated to why every game has a Johnny. They were explaining it all the way from three. And he still had the shits, even even now. Firstborn son. <laughs> so that's the original Johnny then. Anyway. But uh game plan. Uh Thursday, Friday night. I don't necessarily know if we're playing MGS. Uh Friday we're probably not. Thursday, it's a coin toss whether or not we're uh, just kind of hanging out with everybody or playing Metal Gear Solid 3, because Friday, we're not going to be raiding, but we may end up uh, just drinking, hanging out, and maybe doing some VR stuff, because I do have an interview on Friday at 2 o'clock at a place, so fingers crossed that goes well. Uh, actually, more consistent hours where I will not be poor. Is the place I'm at now? Uh, sucks shit. I'll let you guys know how that goes on Friday, but yeah, coin toss Thursday for MGS or bullshit. Uh, Friday's probably gonna be bullshit. Saturday's a coin toss. Sunday for sure, though, we're gonna get back to MGS 3 if we don't play any of those days. But we'll have to see what everyone wants to do. I'll let you guys know in the Discord. Uh, in the meantime, I should probably fix the bot for the stream, though, in the meantime. On that note, though, Ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to Mason FM with the Midnight Hour. I hope you have a very wonderful rest of your evening, day, slash, night. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Fucking. Oh, no, that was a lot. From the Rykov to the absolute ass whooping that fucking Jack got. Don't forget to salt your balls before the interview. I'll fucking do it again. It were it didn't pre it, it prevented ball COVID the first time. It just didn't prevent oral COVID. It's okay. We'll show those commies who's boss. But anyway, God bless you. God bless this stream, and God bless America as it burns down around my ears. Shitlord, out. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next time. Hopefully, uh, with a bit more luck. I wish you could do, like, fucking... I, I was almost positive you'd be able to, like, do some wacky bullshit with the revolver. 
But the most I could do is spin around like a dipshit. Which is entertaining in its own way, I guess. I'm going to show you why they call me Revolver. Godspeed, though. 